it's um it's just not I can't even it's just it's not a it's 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 not okay it's not Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. For those of you that are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I put out weekly drumming content. Also, there's something you don't wanna miss out on. I'm giving away a free Tama snare drum at the moment and to enter, find the link up here to the video and it will tell you how to take part and potentially win that free snare drum. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about hi-hat clutches and whether they should or should not be classed as a breakable. So, for those of you that are not familiar with the term breakable, so let me define it for you. So uh, breakables are the things that you take to gigs to use as a drummer when there's kit share happening. So let's say you're playing a gig and the headline drummer have said, everyone can use my kit, just bring your breakables. Typically, that's always meant your cymbals, your snare and your sticks and your kick drum pedal. Sometimes your drum thrown as well. That's always been the case for as long as I know. I mean, I've been gigging for about 15 years, but I've spoken to people who have been gigging for 20 plus years, and they agree with me on that. So what this means is really, what the only thing you're not using are the drum shells and the hardware, so the cymbal stands, uh, hi-hat stands, seat, etc. Now, as I mentioned, seat is an optional extra. I will always take my own just for extra comfort. I also take my snare drum stand for extra comfort. I bring these extra things just to make sure I have a really comfortable show and you sort of expect that everything else is fair game. I got caught out recently at a gig where uh, I was playing at a festival and um, they said the back line is supplied you just need your breakables. They didn't define breakables so me being me assumed they meant the usual cymbals, snare, sticks, kick drum pedal. But <laughs> got there and there was no hi-hat clutch on the hi-hat stand. So what you were left with was uh, a hi-hat stand with no clutch and cymbals that sounded like this. I'll show you what it sounds like if you can't use a clutch on the hi-hats. So as you can see, there's no way you want to be left in a position where you're having to play a hi-hat that sounds like that for the rest of the gig. As I mentioned, that has happened to me once or twice, and it does make you feel really uncomfortable when you have to go up to another drummer on the bill or the guy who or girl whose drum kit it is and say, can I use your hi-hat clutch, please? I didn't know there wasn't gonna be one. Because it just makes you feel stupid and it makes you look unprepared and unprofessional. But whenever I've shared my kit, I've included my hi-hat clutch because who would think to just bring a hi-hat clutch? If someone says, yeah, you can use my stands, you would assume the clutch would be there, right? Because using a hi-hat stand without the clutch would be like using a kick drum pedal without the beater. <laughs> it's not going to do its job and it's not going to work, so it shouldn't be like that. However, lately it does seem like people who are doing kit share seem to think that the hi-hat clutch isn't involved. Now I understand why, a hi-hat clutch is something that could be easily lost or stolen or the felts or anything could get lost on the stage, but you know, if I share my kit and I'm doing kit share, I'm pretty open to people using whatever they need of my gear. That's just me, right? And that is quite rare. I leave the hi-hat clutch on there. Uh, sometimes people won't even leave the felts and wing nuts on the cymbal stands, but look, I personally think these hi-hat clutches should definitely be considered not a breakable. Does that make sense? If you're lending your, your hardware, you should leave the hi-hat clutch on there because unfortunately not every drummer is experienced enough to know to bring a spare hi-hat clutch. For me, I've been gigging a long time and I now do it professionally, so I always make sure to have at least two spare hi-hat clutches with me. I keep one in my stick bag because I know I'm always gonna have that on me, and I also keep one in my gig box because I also know that's also gonna be on me. I wanna know what you guys think about this. I know it sounds really petty, and it is, but I think it's something that all of us drummers need to discuss and make sure we're on the same wavelength with. So some of the steps I take to prevent this happening is one, this is the easy one, I have spare hi-hat clutches on me at all time which live with my gear so I know that I'm never going to turn up to a gig without one. And two, if there is a gig where I'm doing kit share, I will always make sure to uh, contact the drummers ahead of time and make sure that I'm really clear exactly what gear that um, needs to be uh, provided.
added and what gear needs to be brought by the other drummers. So you'll notice that I mentioned that the drum throne, the seat itself is sometimes a breakable. That's something that's always worth taking to a gig because some drummers will provide theirs and other drummers will expect you to have your own. So really the easy way to fix this, uh, th I know I've gone off on a rant, but I think this is something I really wanted to get through to you guys and it is important, but always have spare hi-hat clutches and always take things you might need if you're not sure that someone's gonna provide it for you. If you need a spare hi-hat clutch, these DW ones I use are really good. This isn't a sponsored video, but I have left a link to one down in the description purely just to help you guys out and it's a recommend med, recommendation blah, blah, blah. it's a recommendation of mine because I know that they're really good my blue lights just died so I think that might be a cue to end the video comment below let me know what you think about this let's have a discussion down below about what you think breakables are and uh, don't forget to enter that competition like the video if you've enjoyed it subscribe if you're new because we're putting out weekly drumming content and on the 23rd of September we will be announcing the winner of the free Tama snare drum remember the link is up there if you want to take part in that thank you so much for tuning in if you've got any other questions for me feel free to hit me up on my social medias my instagram and twitter is at this link down below and i'll see you there i'll see you on the line on the line i'll see you on the web i'll see you in the live stream on the 23rd to announce the winner make sure you have a fantastic weekend if you're drumming this weekend take your clutch with you just in case and as per usual whatever you're doing today go out and smash it